All right, let me go through the little spiel real quick. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the spring 2021 ASUM senatorial Senate Canada. Senatorial candidate debate. I am Lucas Gutierrez, and I'm assisted by uh, Adam Lopez, Chief of Staff, the President, and we will be your moder moderators this evening. All right, so the in instructions for this evening will go as follows. So tonight, each of you will have 45 seconds to give an opening statement. After that, a question will be asked to one of you in a predetermined order. You'll have 45 seconds to answer this question. Any other candidate that wishes to answer the same question will use the raise hand feature and will give in 30 seconds to answer. All five of you will be asked a different question that will then be opened up to the other candidates. So like we said before, we're gonna go back and forth. So Richie, I'll ask a Richie one and then Jacob, you can answer the same one. If you, uh, That's how we're gonna do it. So like, like Josh said, all right. And then the time, your time of 45 seconds will start when I say time starts now and will be ended when the timekeeper calls time if you go to the 45 seconds. So at this time, is there any questions or anything you guys understand? All right, for sure. All right, so opening statement of Jacob Griego. So your time starts now. Hello, Lobos. My name is Jacob Griego. I'm number 10 on the ballot. A little bit about me is I'm a triple minority student involved across campus and I'm running with Danielle Bell on the United UNM slate. The reason why I'm running is because I love UNM, but I can also see the problems inside of it. That can be a lack of a culture that we kind of have and also the problems within society that kind of stream into New Mexico, along with college affordability, safety on campus, and several other things. Uh, if you want to know more about us, feel free to follow us on Instagram at the united.unm.senate uh, on Instagram. All right, thank you okay. for that, Jacob. Uh, and the next opening statement, we'll go to Richie. So your time starts. One second, 45 seconds, right? Yeah, 45 seconds. Cool, cool, cool. Um, just to make it clear, sorry, uh, before I hop in, I'm just going to say 45 seconds. Don't let that stop you from talking. Just take that as like a mental note. Or I'll say 10 seconds, my bad, 10 seconds. But anyways, go for it, Lucas. All right, Richie, your time starts now. Hey, uh, I'm Richie. I'm a first-generation college student. Um, you know, I was born and raised here in Albuquerque. This is my second semester at UNM. I transferred from CNM. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, I mean, people are still feeling the effects of the pandemic. And, you know, inequality is growing, uh, like, within the broader society. And so my main goal is to try to improve the material conditions of individuals who attend UNM. And I plan on doing that by demanding the Board of Regents yes, issue a yes. stimulus check and um, increasing uh, diversity within student government and participation within student government. Time. All right. Thank you. And so we'll move on to the question portion of this. So the first question will go to Jacob Griego. So the first question is, do you believe the amount of ASU and senators should be increased from 20? So your time starts now. I do not think that um, ASU and M Senate should be increased. Uh, the way I see it is if it's not broken, don't fix it. Right now we're getting lots of great legislation going through. We have lots of great people on it. There's always a range. Uh, in the times that I've ran, we've started with 30 people all the way down to about 11 now, I believe. So it's really what we make of it. So as of now, I think that it's perfect the way it is and it shouldn't change. Not that there aren't some issues, but as per numbers, it needs to stay at 20. All right, thank you for that. And the same question to Richie. So you want me to repeat the question or you you got it? Uh, could you repeat it? Yeah, okay. So the, do you believe the amount of ASUDM senators should be increased from 20? So your time starts now, 45 seconds. Uh, yeah, I do believe that the number of ASUDM senators should be increased and um, you know, I, I just think that it's a way to sort of broaden the distribution of power within student government. And I think it would allow us to uh, create more diversity. And, um, you know, it's always better when you have, um, you know, more people means more ideas that we could bring to the table. And, uh, you know, we could, uh, we could hear more voices and more people to advocate for the student, for the student body. And uh, overall, I think it would be a good yes, thing. Right. Thank you. All right. And so we'll move on to the next question. So for Jacob, again, 
uh, if elected to Senate, what is the first thing that you would like to accomplish? The first thing I'd like to accomplish once I'm elected is definitely going to be contacting the AUNM administration and saying, hey, the people on campus don't feel safe. The people on campus feel like there's problems with UNMPD, through with the blue buttons, through lighting at night. Like, what are you doing to fix this? Because, I mean, she does a great job of going up there and saying that things are going to change. I just have yet to see that actually happen. So that's my main goal is to push admin, uh, UNM administration to, to actually achieve the promises that they've already given to us. All right, perfect. So Richie, the same question. If elected into the Senate, what is the first thing that you would like to accomplish? Start now? Yes. Okay. okay. Start now, sorry. Um, so the first thing that I would like to do as a ASUNM senator is, um, you know, I kind of mentioned this in my opening statement. Um, I want to kind of organize with my fellow senators and work with them and uh, try to push the administration on campus to issue another COVID relief check. And um, I want to do that because, you know, uh, students are still feeling the effects of the pandemic and, you um, you know, there are some kids who didn't get a federal stimulus check. You know, so, some people are kind of dependent on their parents' tax returns or, you know, for whatever other reason, not everyone got a federal stimulus check. And either way, you know, they raised our Sorry. tuition during the pandemic. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. All right. So the next question is for Jacob, and it is, if elected to the Senate, would you support legislation to raise the student fee from $20 to make more money available for ASUNM and the student organizations that rely on this funding. Jacob, your time starts now. Right now, I don't believe that there's a huge need. I did go through a lot of the finance Senate uh, hearings and I'm gonna be working on that budget here on Wednesday. And it seems like most of everyone got what they had applied for. I don't think that there's such a huge deficit, especially with the ASU and I'm not fueling fiestas and night lights and all these things that were happening without the pandemic. But I also know that it was in a deficit a few years ago when President Stokes kind of had to bail ASU and I'm out. So if it comes to that point, I would look into increasing it. But as of where we stand now, I Seven don't think seconds. it will be beneficial to go ahead and raise those student fees. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for that. And the next, the next question is to Richie. So the same question and your time starts now. Um, I would, I agree. I wouldn't support raising it right now. I think the first thing we need to do as ASUNM is be more transparent in uh, where these fees are going to. And then, um, you know, we could, I, I think it would be best if we left it up to the student body. I, I think if we let the student body vote for it and see, so that way we could see what they want to, what they want to have done on campus. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. And the next, last question of tonight's uh, debate is for Jacob. And the question is, ASU NEM senators often have opportunities to speak with President Stokes and other university officials. If elected to the Senate, what is a question you would like to ask President Stokes? So your time starts now, Jacob. I've been waiting since actually last semester when I got my current Senate seat to ask her why she increased student raise and actually show me for like a bill of what happened that she increased them. I haven't had that opportunity yet. I haven't spoken with any of you in administration. If I had that opportunity, that's what I would love. I just wanna know why she increased tuition whenever the economy is literally failing right now. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, for sure. And the same question to Richie. So your 45 seconds of the same question starts right now. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I, I would, I would ask the same thing, you know, I'm, uh, when I saw the tuition rates go up during a pandemic, um, I, I didn't understand it, you know, especially when uh, we're not able to go to school in person and, you know, our professors, they, they work hard, but, you know, it, it's just the quality of education online isn't the same as the quality as, as you would get in person. Mm -hmm. And so I would, I would ask the same question, you know, why did tuition rates go up? And I would also, uh, like I said, ask for another uh, COVID relief check. Okay. 
All right, sounds good. So that concludes the questions for this evening. So now we move on to the closing statements. So Jacob, if you'd like to make a closing statement, your time starts now. Hey everyone, again, this is Jacob Griego, number 10 on the ballot. Please vote for me if you wanna support college affordability, safety on campus, a positive culture, and also if you're tired of being silenced and want your voice heard. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at united.unm.senate if you have any more questions. Thank you for that. And the same thing to Richie. So your time starts now of a closing statement. Yeah, um, my name is Richie Goheen, I'm number 13 on the ballot. Um, please vote for me. I'm uh, looking forward to talk to a lot of you and see what you guys want to want to have done on campus. Um, Follow me on Instagram at Comrade Richie for ASUNM, the number four. And, um, you know, DM me with any questions you guys have or uh, anything you, you want to see uh, happen on campus. All right. Thank you. And that concludes tonight's debate. So stay on after and we'll go over a couple things. But thank you for everything. And this is the signing off for the debate. Thanks.